Alrighty guys, we're back for another mono red build. This one I'm calling anti-meta red, but we'll see if that's true or not, right? I kind of made this deck when I was only going up against mono white and mono green, and I was like, well, this is annoying, so let's see what we can piece together to really get through. But recently, what I'm going up most against is actually is it decks, and so um, I made a couple adjustments since then, and we'll see how it actually goes guys for anyone who may not know i am red cat and i play aggro decks and any decks with red in them as well this deck is definitely mid-range and so uh yeah we're gonna go over it here real quick and then hop into some ranked we got two abrades two dragon's fire four reckless impulse two thundering rebukes we got three chandras dressed to kill we got four magic missiles, four mana form hellkites, four unexpected windfalls, four burn down the house, four gold span dragons, one doll house of horrors, one inferno of the star mounts, and 25 land total, four of them are faceless haven. So what's the game plan, right? Against aggro decks, we are going to control the early game as much as possible, uh, get that hellkite down and just start flying on in and just hopefully destroying the opponent's face right because mana form hellkite is insanely good so why magic missiles over something else right there's a lot of other things that we could have put in we could have um like we could have put uh, some more like we could have put crush the weak or other board wipes right why magic missiles mainly because if we don't go up against aggro i wanted something that could pick off the little aggro creatures but also would be good against the all runes epiphany decks so this could hit the face, let us get in that last bit of damage that we need against Epiphany, but also it helps us pick off the birds in the air if they don't win from the extra turns, and that way we can swing in with our flying creatures as well. That's the thought process behind Magic Missile being in here, and why not just uh, four Thundering Rebukes instead of the, the two uh, Dragon Fires? Mainly because sometimes the Dragon Fire will be able to hit for six damage, and most of the time, it will be able to hit for four anyways, right? Because we do have eight other dragons here. Uh, also, why Dollhouse of Horrors? Well, uh, Maniform Hellkite has quite the target on its back, so it's going to die a lot, unfortunately. And being able to bring it back as a little 1-1 one -one that still has this insane ability is going to be pretty cool. Also, if we have a Maniform Hellkite on the board, uh, we drop a Dollhouse of Horrors, right? It is a non it is a, it is a non-creature spell, so I mean, we're gonna get a 5-5 flyer from it for that turn, too. Yeah, guys, the, the deck is just, it's trying to beat the meta, and I have no idea if it's gonna work or not, right? So we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Let's go hop into some ranked. I hope that uh, intro went over that well enough for you guys. You guys will have to let me know what style of intros you like the best. Additionally, guys, we also have our first ever subscriber goal. We set it to 1,000. Seems far away. Y'all are crushing it, though. We're over a fourth of the way there already, which is insane to me. So thank you guys for all the support. If you do enjoy the content, do consider subscribing and helping us get to that goal. Uh, we'll, we will get a Discord server started once we reach that goal as well. Um, this hand is pretty slow, and the opponent's going first. Let's keep it. <laughs> in, all, in all reality, guys, that might have been a mulligan hand. But when I'm testing a deck, I do like to try to push the limits of it to see... Oh my, okay, we need some removal. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, such a good draw. Holy cow. Um... <laughs> Uh, we could keep it open. We can keep it open. Woo! I would, uh, uh, yeah, we have a lot of removal in the deck, though, so. Okay. Veteran comes down. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Dragon's Fire the Voice. Still pretty tough, but our magic missiles takes care of the rest of them this turn, so. And we're gonna do it. We're definitely going to take it all out. One, two, submit. Boop. 
Magic missiles, let's go. Did I did I call magic missiles dragon's fire last time? I have no idea. Who's in my mind? Who's in my mind over here, guys? Let's see if we can hit that land. Reckless impulse helping us get there, right? Beautiful. Uh, we could double down on the reckless impulse, but I don't think we have to right now. So next turn, gold span dragons, pretty good. We gotta expect that the opponent doesn't have too much removal in the deck so mana form early on here might be the key to getting that damage through it depends it really depends gold span gold span hits the board hard and they would probably block reckless impulse showing its power there letting us get those lands was super important So we can't let the opponent just draw like an infinite amount of cards. So swinging in could be pretty bad. Not having more removal in hand right now is, is actually relatively rough. Being able to block one of them with the mana form is fine and all, but... Yeah, let's, let's just let the opponent have some cards. Let's get really greedy here. Let's get really, really greedy. Oh, oh, oh. They actually uh, had some removal. Actually, wow, that, that worked out. We did not want to lose the mana form here. They're drawing three cards. So we now know that they have Valorous Stance, which is actually a really good card uh, for a deck like this. Uh, target creature gains indestructible can come in handy, like, a lot. Destroy a target creature with toughness four or greater. Like, everything that's good. <laughs> really great card. I like that opponent. I like that quite a bit. All right, play with fire off the top would be pretty good. We're gonna search for it. If we get a land and play with fire, that's really greedy though. We could just get the Hellkite down, then Reckless Impulse and swing for two. All right, fine. We don't wanna get too greedy with it. We're still gonna search for the play with fire though. We want to wipe their board, even if we lose the Hellkite while doing so. Play with... Oh, 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 did I call it play with fire? I meant burn down the house, guys. I'm sorry. I'm crazy today. Also, we found it, by the way. We could have just reckless impulsed and found the land and got burned down the house. That's hilarious, actually. Wow. We didn't want to get greedy there, though, so... But if we were greedy, we would have we would have <laughs> we would have profited tenfold. <laughs> uh, Toski's a great card in this deck too. Props to the opponent. I like this. I like that a lot. They might even have more valorous stances. I'd imagine a deck like this would run a couple of them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be a big swing. I'm going to sit up in my chair. I'm literally on the edge of my seat right now. We have to attempt to block here. They're still drawing three cards, which is just awful for us. Yeah, all of their cards gets over uh, burn down the house at this point. Yeah, what a... Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I took... No, no, yeah, it does. This comes in as a cleric. Yeah. So they do get over Burn Down the House. Oof. Oh, they... They're keeping it open. There's no way to get 26 damage in. This is a really tough decision, guys. I think it has to be burned down the house. Can Reckless Impulse as well. There's so many little things that we could do differently here that I'm wondering if it's even worth it. Like, we have to get some damage through. I guess let's Reckless Impulse. 
first. Because we could bring the one ones in for burn down the house instead. Okay, we got a couple lands off the top. I just don't want to wipe this board. I wasn't greedy with it last turn and we were we we were punished for it. Let's get a couple one ones on the ground to block. Let's swing in for some damage here. Uh, and get them as far away from the 27 life as possible. That's my thought process. Snakeskin Veil. We just wanted to buff that for a reason, I suppose. Might as well swing with that too. They take the nine, that's fine. Three blockers on the ground is pretty decent. A little bit of extra damage. Yeah, this, this dies at the end of the turn anyway, so we might as well swing. Back down to uh, 17. Yeah, there is a, there's a lot of options there. There's actually been a lot of options for us the entire game. So I'm not really sure what the best uh, line of action is. It's really funny. I, I built the deck for mono white, mono green, and I guess a little bit of is it. Like, is it would be a really tough matchup regardless, but it is the reason why I substituted some uh, different cards in, right? And first match, we go up against some life gain, and it's actually brutal. It's really brutal. This this uh, Toski is just like it's just impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to deal with, right? So we could triple block into the Moon Dancer. I would expect that they have a, a means of getting it above the damage. Do we do we risk it? It's just an extra damage on us. Let's try it. Let's see if we can get this Moon Dancer down. Like I said, they most likely have a means, but we might as well try it at this point because it's not looking great for us. Super rough uh, when they they get to draw their entire deck with Toski. Yeah, they had the Snakeskin Veil. <laughs> It's fine, right? I mean, we knew that they were going to have something with all those cards in hand. Figured we'd we'd give it a shot anyways, because if we didn't, it would have just been one extra point of damage. We could have taken out the Luminous Phantom, I guess. That would have been an option. Yeah, Cleric class is just going to completely pop off. They're, they're going to have 30 life by the end of this turn. Or not. It depends what they lay. They have five open land, though. Five open mana, I should say. Question is, how much damage can we do next turn, right? We'll have seven land total. We have the unexpected windfall, but it's just not going to be enough. It'd be eight damage on the board. They actually just level that up. Okay, I mean, that's... That's a line of play. To get rid of everything except for the 7-7. Seven, seven. Get the second Faceless Haven down, I suppose. We have enough red sources. It's just not enough if we unexpect unexpected Windfall and Chandra Dress to kill. So I think we unexpected Windfall now. We, we gotta kill him this turn, essentially, right? We can't keep playing defensive. So let's see what we find here. And we're going to go ahead and ditch the <laughs> gold span dragon. Which is rough, but let's see it. That's eight damage on the board. Couple extra. Okay. Okay. Magic missiles to the face. Submit. Three damage. Chandra dress to kill. Look at this explosion. Look at this explosion, guys. Let's go. <laughs> well, that was a, a bit of a longer match at 11 minutes. Not, not too long, though. Nice. That's how we do it, guys. 
Oh, buddy. Yeah, so many different options there. The, uh, wow. Yeah, just think about how those extra, like, treasure tokens came into play. Like, everything in that match mattered. That was insane, guys. All right, let's see if we can go up against a, a deck that we actually built the deck for, right? Let's see. Either way, I mean, great first match. Great first victory. Maniform Hellkite carrying me there once again. Like, at this point, like, I don't even know what to say about the card. The first time we played against the card, I was like, oh, I'm going to take my time and make and and make a really good deck around this right instead of just making um making five videos in one week around maniform hellkite and the first time we played with it it just carried me to victory there as well like it just carries you and there's probably a lot of uh a lot of different builds that can have the maniform in so we're gonna be gonna be trying out a lot of different things Yep, so unfortunately this is not one of the meta decks that we built it for, but it should be fine. Oh, vampires, we should be pretty fine against this. We should be alright, we'll see. We'll keep this open. We'll keep this open, in case they drop something that we want to uh, kill. If they swing in before dropping something, which they should do. Uh, then we'll kill the Blood Tithe Harvester instead. Because so we want to take less damage. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. We'll, we'll get rid of that. Reveal a Dragon? Nah. Three damage is enough. We'll take the three. Hoping for a three drop or another land. Oh, buddy. Okay. The opponent can do whatever they want to us for this turn. Which is pretty scary. We need to draw land here. There's 25 land in here for a reason though, right? There's a reason we're not running 24. We could even go up to 26, but sometimes we get too much land then. The fine balance, right? Yep, going down to 14. This is the problem running like mid-range. You get a lot of heavy end cards and then you can't play any of them. Oh, we got the land. We got to get this down as at least a blocker, but I'd be shocked if it doesn't die. I would literally be... I, I don't even know. I'd be so shocked if this doesn't get an, like an Infernal Grasp or something. Like, Maniform Hellkite has to have the biggest target. If you're if you're playing red and you're playing Maniform Hellkite, like, that, that's the card <laughs> that your opponent saved their removal for. You know what I mean? We'll see. So that's not removal. Ah. Ah, th that's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, you can. So, minus X, minus X, where X is twice the number of blood tokens, and they had the two blood tokens. That's super brutal, actually, guys. Uh, I love it, opponent. That was pretty awesome. Like I said, we should be fine. The, the question is... How long can we actually survive without um without removing their stuff, right? We need we need to get a burn down the house active. Dragon's fire is a good draw. Missing the land drop is pretty rough. So an unexpected windfall isn't terrible here either. Do get a couple. We should probably do that so we get a land. And honestly. Honestly, one of the burn down of the houses has has to go. I think the double gold spans could really come in clutch here. Couple treasure tokens. There we go. We drew that land. We have the dragon's fire open now. Okay, yeah, we didn't want to miss the land drop that turn, so we did the instant on our turn instead. And getting the treasure tokens, like you never want to forget that that. It, it essentially costs two mana to do that ability. In a weird way, right? What do you th what do you suppose they grab here? Probably the instant and sorcery, right? Let's see what they target. And we probably hit the Florian. 
Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It, it grabbed it before we could activate the Dragon's Fire. I'm sorry, guys. I should have known that that was going to happen. So we're going to take a couple extra damage here. We don't talk about it. Uh, put it on the list of things that we do not talk about. We're going to reveal a dragon this time, too. Whoop. Whoops, the daisies. There we go. We're revealing the dragon just in case they have some kind of fancy maneuvering here. So they actually, uh, they grabbed a sorcery and not an instant. I just now realized that. That's actually decent for us. Okay, so burn down the house, about to deal two damage to us, but devastate the opponent. I'm down. You guys down? I'm down. We're going to save the unexpected windfall. Yeah. Two damage. Cemetery Gatekeeper. I love that card, man. I got to get more... Uh, I got to make more decks with that card in it. They have two cards in hand. They know we have a gold span. We're sitting at seven. No good way to gain. Uh, oh, oh my. Okay. Okay. Um, this just got dangerous. This just got dangerous very fast. I wonder if we can um, bait their attack over into Chandra. Probably not. I wonder if Chandra's the play to look for removal. Even then, our removal doesn't hit uh, four or five very easily. Unexpected windfall isn't terrible here. We still have enough mana to play a gold span. Gold span doesn't block this well at all. And the ability is just gonna. I I think the opponent just won. I think the opponent just got us. I suppose we have to unexpected uh, windfall here to search for something. Sorry, opponent. I'm running down the timer. We have to search for an answer. Like, the uh, the Maid of Dishonor's second ability here, sacrifice a creature a blood token, uh, loses two life, and you gain two life. <laughs> um, we're going to die to that really, really fast, right? So... Um, Okay, not bad. We do have Mana Form Hellkite to block the uh, the Maid of Dishonor. So if they don't end up drawing a land, we don't... Like, we're, we're not dead here yet. Oh, unless they just have something here. Oh, they just have a Blood Token open if they want to search. Yeah, kind of a really weird roundabout turn. Like, doing things like in a bizarre mana, uh, a manner to try to get actual creatures onto the board that stick, right? Um, so, the, so if the opponent has removal, we're dead. Uh, or cheap removal. Oh, okay. Well, they can just discard. They can just do six damage to us here. If they wanted to. So, we're forced to block because of the ability. Yeah, nothing deals five damage effectively in this deck. So, uh, literally another burn down the house, but we've already seen two of them, and they're gone. So, there's only two more in the deck here. So, we'll see. We will see. Nice, nice. That gets rid of gold span if they want to, but they can't do it till next turn. Magic missiles. Oh, buddy. Okay. Um, so, the bad part about magic missiles right now is it is a sorcery. So, we're going to search the top card of our deck and see what it is. Oh, but if it's a... Uh, if it's a burn down the house, we can't play it. Well, yeah, we can. What am I saying? We can swing in with gold span. I'm crazy, guys. Let's search. Searching for an answer because we're close to death. Come on, Chandra. Chandra! I'm trying to improvise, Chandra. How dare? Well, we're going to have to block with our gold span. Super brutal. Yeah, if we... So, I mean, we're going to want to do this now. 
because they could just kill our gold span with the blood tithe harvester. Yeah, the second Chandra dress to kill is no fun. And we're forced to block the Maid of Dishonor. Look at this card, guys. What a great card. It really pinned us down here. It, it like, it completely pinned us down because that second ability with the blood tokens is insane. I love it. Like, seriously, this might be an MVP in a vampire build. Okay, so it looks like they're choosing to do all the damage right now. And then next turn, if we don't win, or if we don't find an answer to the Maid of Dishonor, we lose. So we're going to search for it. Very brutal, though. Very brutal. A, a great card to get against this deck. Reckless Impulse. We're going to start with uh, searching the top. Not a good game yet, opponent. We have a chance, unless the card in your hand has haste. Yeah, we have a chance here to find removal for this. Thundering Rebuke. We just need one more removal spell off the top with the Reckless Impulse. Well, that sucks. Yeah, we we didn't have any cards in hand to play the unexpected windfall, so we couldn't get the uh, the extra stuff. Yeah, now it's a good game, opponent. Now it's a good game. Little uh, little preemptive good game. We could have found something off the top pretty easily. All right, guys, let's hop into the next one. So far, deck is, I want to say struggling. <laughs> I want to say struggling, but um, so far, video win rate is 50%, so that's not too... Whoa, we're collecting stuff. We're getting prizes. What on earth is even happening? I don't know. I'll crack that pack later because somehow we've only played two matches and we're 27 minutes into the video, which is just absurd to me. I don't understand that at all. Uh, you know, it's absurd to me because my my favorite decks to play is aggro and usually those go really fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're keeping it. There's a lot of heavy cards in this uh, deck, man. A lot of top end stuff. We might have to go down a couple gold spans for the sake of more removal in the top end. Um... And we need something that actually hits for five that isn't... Um, <laughs> yeah, well, the problem is gold span's so good that, like, going down to two... I mean, we could get rid of a dollhouse because it's kind of in here just for the jank fun of bringing back a mana form. At the same time, though, watch it come in clutch. Oh, oh, we're up against Is it? We're up against Is it, guys. Okay. I can't believe, I can't believe that uh, we're finally up against a, a deck that we built this for, right? Usually it doesn't go our way. Well, now it's going to get countered. Darn it. I've played enough Izzet decks in the last couple of days to know that my cards aren't going to hit the board. <laughs> um... We're going to attempt a gold span next turn instead, or wait till they tap out. Also, a great showcase of Inferno of the Star Mounts. Literally just in here for the Izzet uh, matchups. Attempt the uh, gold span. Like I said, oh, 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 they, uh, it hit the board. Why did it hit the board? Memory deluge. Okay. Like, I'm, I, like, I don't know why, but playing this deck has me at the edge of my seat the entire time. Like, there's something so... I, I, I want to call it, like, off-balanced that makes me feel like I'm going to fall out of my chair while playing this deck. I don't understand. Is that what is that what mid-range players feel? Just like sweating the entire time until they get their fifth mana? 
Well, we have access to Inferno of the Star Mounts next turn. We have, like, this is a lot of damage. If they don't choose to um, remove the gold span now or do something along those lines. Expressive Iteration searching for their fifth land and getting really, really close to flipping that smoldering egg. Yeah, I, I made this as an anti-meta thing, and so far, I, I still think it needs some work. What would you guys add to it? I think red has a lot of stuff that really works against the current state of the meta, right? Mono green, mono white, and is it is that is the state uh, of the meta right now. Like, we see vampires sometimes, like we just did. We see life gain sometimes. We see, like, other things like Jund and stuff, but that's so rare in comparison. So what would you guys add to a mono red build to work against that meta? So they choose ag aggression here, assuming they have a fading hope or something along those lines, then that's probably the best, uh, bless, uh, the best play. I can't speak guys, cause we got 10 damage here. Can't be countered, let's see it. You want a Fading Hope something? That's the card to Fading Hope. That's the card to Fading Hope, that's for sure. There you go, buddy. There you go, two damage to our face. And um, we're gonna wanna get Chandra down, I think, this turn too. Now let's get the Mana Form. If it's a if it's a second fading hope, it is what it is, right? Maniform hits the board, threatening the opponent big time here. They probably, like I said, it has a huge target on its back. Don't forget our faceless havens either. Could come in clutch here. The opponent's at twelve. We're at twelve. I think this is anyone's game, although they they probably have more options at this point. Remember, if they remove the Maniform Hellkite, we can always try to bring it back with the Dollhouse. And we also have another Inferno of the Star Mounts in hand, ready to drop, because all they did was bounce it, not kill it. The opponent's in a sticky situation here, and they really got to think this one through as to what they want to do. I'm going to take a sip of tea while they think about this. Drops a gold span. I don't know if we take this damage. Do we take eight? They're going to have two open manas, the thing. They leave one back. They leave a blocker back. That's smart. I think that's smart. Because mana form, if we if we choose to keep it, that probably means that they don't have removal for the mana form, is what I'm thinking. I think that they kept the Ashmouth back because they know how explosive that the that it can get. They also know we have the Faceless Haven, and they don't know three of our cards, but they also know we have the Inferno of the Star Mounts as well. So play with fire. They're taking out the mana form right here, right now, uh, which means our turn is actually free. They have one more, okay. Yeah, they had they had one more mana open there, which could have been really bad if it was a second play with fire. Comes in tapped. Dollhouse could bring our mana form back, but it dies so easy to the Ash Mouth. I think it's just Inferno of the Star Mounts, but we keep it open as a blocker. A second gold span isn't terrible here either. And the windfall is actually pretty good too. I guess we could start with that. I have one, two, we'll have six open. Yeah, we'll ditch the gold span and see what we draw here. It's pretty good. That's pretty decent. The problem is we're going to die really soon. Yeah, that's that's the that's the biggest issue right now. 
is we're so close to death. I'm basically a professional at saving in a stride by One, two, uh, three. Still gonna do this anyways. Ping their face. And I don't think they trade here. They block the 3-3. Three, three. Remember, the 3-3 three, three is going to die at the end of the turn anyways, so. I think that's what they block. They probably take the 4. And then, um... They could take... Yeah. They could take the 4 and then try to remove the Maniform Hellkite next turn and swing in for 8. Like, like we were both in, like, this situation where one turn... Or, or, like, yeah, at any point, the opponent could win, right? But... Okay, they choose to block. So that probably means they, they win the game here. Which is super unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? We'll go right into the next match then. Uh, we're actually running really just out of time. Hopefully the last, last match doesn't take too long. Yep. They hit the Maniform Hellkite with two. They play... Whoa! They're hitting face. Oh, that's... Yeah, what am I saying, man? I'm only at eight. They just have to hit my face a couple times here. Opponent, play it faster. I'm gonna I'm let you play it out, bro. Just play it a little faster. I gotta get one more game. Get one more game, buddy. I mean, there, there has to... They have to have hit an instant or sorcery, right? Maybe not. We might be safe a turn. If that's the case, we might just we might accidentally win, and I and I mean accidentally. If they don't have an instant or a sorcery to get that last bit of damage through. They're playing it like they don't have it. They I guess we do have open here. Okay, there you go. There you go. GG buddy. GG. Swing on in. Swing on in, buddy. Get your quest done. I gotta go to the next match. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So, is it was gonna be a hard matchup? Uh, but it is the. Excuse me, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, opponent. I, I, I hope that helped you get some quests done, buddy. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, against Izzet, it was always going to be a tough matchup. The The big thing against the Izzet deck was, um, I, you know, I traded out some cards specifically for the Izzet matchup. Uh, like, we slotted in the uh, Inferno of the Star Mounts uh, against that deck, and then I, I the Magic Missiles as well was a big one. That was a really big one. I wanted to make sure that we could hit the opponent's face. But also, if we go up against aggro, we can take out their little creatures. We actually saw that today. So, I'm not giving up on this deck yet, honestly. The hands have been awful, though. The hands have just been the, the absolute worst. There we go. Yeah, what you want to see in an opening hand in this deck is definitely some um, removal. Because you never know when the opponent's just gonna uh, kill you in a couple turns. Okay, here we go. Here's the perfect test. Here's the perfect test, guys. I'm gonna save that Reckless Impulse back. We don't want to accidentally hit, like, two Goldspan Dragons and then cry ourselves to sleep. Can this actually deal with, uh, with a Mono White deck? So... I mean, we just went up against one meta deck. Now we have another one here. A braid is really good. Holding it all back. So no magic missiles this time. Magic missiles is actually really good against mono white, so... I don't know what they think we're playing at this point. They probably don't know yet, is the thing. Okay, well, that gets over a lot, doesn't it? Okay. We don't want them to get the 1-1 one, one human. 
but a swing here, at least the magic missiles could take out the human. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Take a couple damage. Adeline. Adeline coming in, making us sweat. Get rid of a couple of them. They do get another 1-1 one, one when they swing in. We missed the fourth land, which is just awful. We get greedy, but getting greedy against a deck like this. Ah, let's do it. Get a couple lands. Well, GG, guys. Magic is magic, isn't it? I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess it just happens sometimes. Honestly, I don't want to give up on the deck, though. I'm, I'm definitely still going to post the video. I mean, we, we post the videos when the decks do bad uh, anyways, right? But I don't want to give up on the deck. I suppose going down a 5-drop and up a land would, would be an order. We do not want to get rid of the burn down the houses by any means. You, you probably need all four burn down the houses, no matter what, in this deck. Like, you need you need the board wipes right now against mono white and against uh mono green the thing is apparently 25 land isn't enough and most of the time we were kind of sweating like oh are we gonna draw that land so 26 land probably good honestly going down a gold span isn't out of the question here going down a gold span isn't out of the question so we did hit that land here but we just don't have we just don't have it you know uh, yeah, we we literally lost next turn. I mean, it is what it is, right, guys? If we would have actually seen the land, we could have burnt the house down. Oh, well. I, I would have liked the deck to perform better. I don't want to give up on it, so I hope you guys have some ideas for it as well. And we'll try it again in the future. We're, we're trying to make an anti-meta mono red, and we're trying to see... We're trying to see if we can get that job done. Oh, we didn't die here. Oh, we didn't die. We're actually down to one. I miscounted, guys. <gasps> guys, I, I lost hope. I lost hope. And for what? <laughs> oh, Redane. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah, we'll swing them. Pay the two. I mean, we're we're like we're on death's door, man. We're on death's door. Like, <laughs> we get the hellkite next turn. But like, what does the opponent get this turn, right? Brutal Cathar, very nice opponent. Man, I was so ready. I was so ready to just to just die there, <laughs> which is so funny. All because I I miscounted by one. <gasps> GG opponent, good game, man. All right, so what do we do with the deck, right? Wait, did we only play four matches, and we lost three of them? Oof, guys, these matches took forever. These matches took forever, bro. Oh well. It is what it is. Let's go to the deck. Anti-meta red mid-range. Right now, when I upload the deck, I'm just going to call it red mid-range. I don't want to bait anybody in uh, by saying like anti-meta um, in the thumbnail or something. Because right now, it didn't really do its job as an anti-meta. Not at all. Not in the video, at least. Um, uh, more testing is required. But right, right away, what I would do is I would add a land and drop a, um, probably a gold span. It's one of the best red card. It might be the best red card in standard right now. But we were seeing it way too much and we just weren't seeing the land that we needed to get to like a burn down the house. And that was happening a lot. So what I would do is I would drop a Chandra. I would drop a gold span. Uh, we didn't see Dollhouse actually come in either. It's a little bit janky, but we had it in here to bring back the Maniform Hellkite. 
but we could probably drop a gold span, drop a dollhouse, drop a Chandra, add more top end removal, and add one more land as well. Maybe even another creature land if we could if we could bear to have it in here. Really depends. I'm gonna I'm gonna return to this one though, guys. I'm definitely gonna return to this one in, in a, a week or two, and we'll see how it goes. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, y'all are champions. You guys are awesome. Uh, again, I know I said it at the beginning, or at least I think I did. Thank you guys for all the support, all the likes, all the comments. You guys are just so pleasant, and it's, it's been such a great experience. So thank you, thank you so much, guys. And I will see you in the next video.